because there are people who say father devil has destroyed my family devil has this is somebody has done black magic and evil one has coming and gripping us evil one is destroying our family there are people who say like this about the evil one but remember without your cooperation the evil can do nothing if evil has done something in your life or my, my life we are responsible for to a certain extent for example fire is so dangerous this this candle fire is so dangerous if we are not careful if we keep something inflammable closer to this fire and touch this fire it will get flame and it may even uh, you know destroy this whole building but only if we keep it close to the candle light otherwise as long as this light candle is inside this glass it is not going to do any harm to us if we bring something and make it touch the fire whatever that we bring get will get flame and fire and will consume the same way if you allow the devil to sit where he is supposed to sit if you don't go and play around with him he cannot do anything in your life for example adam and eve were living in the paradise and the devil also was living there only when she listened to the conversation of the devil and obeyed him the sin entered into the humanity and destroyed the humanity suppose if she didn't go to speak to him if she was not interested in obeying him you could have seen a different humanity altogether and the devil could do nothing in the life of adam and eve and the whole humanity and therefore remember there is no point in blaming the satan completely for all the addictions and problems and sickness and sins and everything that we are afflicted with we are responsible somewhere we entertained somewhere we entered into a dialogue with him and somewhere we started obedient obeying him and that is why we are inviting his influence in our family knowingly or unknowingly by falling into sin we became in the company of the devil anyone who enter into the company of the devil they will experience death spiritual death agony stress anxiety tension depression confusion disorder everything will happen to them because that is his life that is his nature that is what he's experiencing all those who experience god there is peace joy happiness order and the love of god but all those who experience the evil just opposite to all these let's read james chapter 1 verse 14 to 15 we read like this james chapter 1 verse 14 and 15 we read like this but one is tempted by one's own desire it's true that the devil is there to tempt us but it is if we don't have the desire we will never be tempted it is our desire that is tempting let's repeat after me but one who one is tempted by one's own desire but one is tempted